So I'm done with my cases for today, and now I'm going to head over to the Westchester COVID vaccination site. So let's go. So now I'm on my way to go to the county center to give some vaccinations. And I'm really grateful for the opportunity to help out in this way, to assist in the administration of the vaccines in this first rollout. So I just finished the shift of vaccinating. I gotta say, I feel so rewarded. Um, I was kind of nervous at first. I don't know why I was nervous. Like my day-to-day -day job is very involved with patient care. I don't know, I guess, you know, just learning something like the systems providing vaccines was new to me. So at first I was a little bit wary about it, but I caught on really quickly and I thought it was excellent, excellent experience. So I just want to encourage anyone who's considering getting the vaccine to go ahead, read as much information as you can about it, learn about it, but not to be fearful, not to let the fear of the side effects of the vaccine keep you from gaining that really powerful protection against COVID-19 infection. Again, just be educated, know your medical history, be very honest with the people who are going through the questionnaire with you at the beginning of the vaccine screening process and let them know if you have any conditions or predisposition to allergic reactions, including anaphylaxis to any medications or food, because that's really important information. And as I was talking to many people, I found out, you know, that a lot of times they were, they had a lot of questions about the experiences of others, the possible side effects. And I kind of just told them how what my experience was. So with my first shot, I didn't really feel much of anything other than just soreness at the injection site. My arm was sore for about a day and then that was it. I didn't have any other, you know, significant notable side effects. Um, with my second shot, I did um, feel like, you know, something was coursing through my blood. You know, I felt different. I did feel a bit of fatigue. Um, I was at work at the time and just kind of felt like, you know, a little out of sorts for the day, um, never really spiked the fever, did feel kind of like chills here and there, but again, was never febrile. And I, you know, when I went home, I was just telling my husband and my kids to let me just get, give mommy some space, mommy needs to rest, um, because I was just out of it. And I did, did sleep a little earlier that night. And then the next day when I woke up, I felt like back to normal, back to myself. So I would say it's probably about 24 hours of feeling kind of some side effect from the vaccine. Um, many people have described other symptoms like muscle aches, pains, joint pain. Some people do spike a fever, but usually it's kind of on a low grade side and you know, fatigue is really common. So those are some side effects to expect. And it just means your immune system is kicking in, your immune system is working, you know, you're developing antibodies, which will happen over the course of the next two weeks or so to the COVID-19 viral particles. So you do want to just remember that, you know, symptoms are a sign of your immune system at work. And um, that's a good thing. That's what we're that's what we're hoping for.